All right. Um, I haven't seen practice for a couple of days now. Um, what stood out to you the most from the last couple of days? Uh, we got better today. Yesterday we was uh, was kind of a our first back to back full padded deal where you're really going and and guys adjusted to it today better. Um, put a lot of our scoring zone goal line package in and uh, it was just it was a little bit more crisp, cleaner today. Uh, we'll see uh, how it goes to the end of the week. We got five tough ones this week in a scrimmage, so this is like real camp. Um, I think the quarterbacks improved today and uh, uh, the team's understanding how to practice. You know, you have to know how to practice and uh, the installation is going to start to slow down now and we're going to start to refine things. So I like the attitude, like the effort that they had. Full pads now you're going back to back to back in a in a tough week like this. How do you sort of manage the workload there? You know, make sure people don't get hurt. Uh, yeah, well, we we don't go a lot of live if at all because it's just. Well, but we you know got to be good at practice, staying on our feet, staying up, uh, working our fed tempo, and uh, and you know we make it like games. We, we we incorporate TV timeouts into practice. You know, because in a game you never just go 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 go. It goes and stops and goes and stops. So uh, that kind of gives them a chance to get, a little, get their breath and all that as well and get their legs back a little bit. So um, you, you, you simulate practice as best you can like a game. And that's why we, we, we'll call TV timeouts during, during practice, just like we, we get during games because a lot of times you're standing around in between series. So uh, that's one way they recover and just you know, some monitor the reps. You know, uh, uh, don't. You know the wideouts and the DBs do the most running in practice, and you got to rotate those guys through and all that. So, uh, really, just our big our practice structure is an important way to, to keep them healthy. For sure. Um, the one to check back in. Um, any of the freshmen been standing out this week? Uh, I don't know. Shoot. <laughs> no, I haven't. You know, we're such a veteran team. It's yeah. it's tough to break into that deal right now. There's not a lot of spots where you know a young freshman. You know, I, I like our two young running backs. Uh, Malachi Rango and, and Raven Hunter, those two probably, and, and I watch the offense a lot more than the defense, but uh, those two have really um, uh, caught our attention and they're getting a lot of reps. Uh, they're, they're taking all the two reps. So uh, really uh, pleased with how they both are performing right now. Any different for you to be practicing in the dome than outside? Uh, other than we don't, this, this is the only time of year we do it. We won't do it during spring. We like to go outside. Um, no, you know, I, we, we like to think that the dome is our, is our, is our territory and we don't want to defend your territory. And, uh, we've been seven and three in here the last two years. It's, you know, a good record, not a great record, but a good record. We, we want to know when we, uh, come inside to do anything that we're, we're playing with the uh, intensity and the, and the level of effort to, to defend our turf here. Yeah. I'm seeing it everywhere now. What are your thoughts on the new, the new logo? Oh, I love it. The, uh, the president. Back in, uh, shoot, back during the spring semester, or, or maybe during, I don't know, when you know he and I had a, had a little visit, and he brought me the whole the whole thing and showed me the the, the new branding, and and I thought it was cool from then. I, I love it. So, uh, does that make us any better win games? Probably not, but uh, it, you know it looks cool. <laughs> For sure. Um, talking to the kickers today, um, you know we talked about them a little bit a couple days ago. Yeah. Um, have they improved? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, lefty Kevin Ryan. Sure, you know, call him by his name. Yeah, lefty. Uh, lefty hit a few, uh, straightened it out a little bit today, and hit a few. And and uh, watching David um, Alish kick off, uh, you know, he's placing it in the right spot where we need it. And and uh, the whole, uh, such a timing thing and just such a rhythm thing with field goal. Like I said, I told you a couple of days ago, whatever we practice it every day, because um, it, it's such a rhythm thing. Uh, they got a lot better, and today, yeah, like I said hit some. Uh, I got I got to do a better job of freezing them during practice, uh, but but he hit a couple uh, deep ones today. It was nice. You think those two guys will will be competing throughout the fall? Yeah, they'll be. Yeah, they'll be. They'll be competing throughout throughout the fall. It's one of those things. If uh, the best guy's gonna kick, if whoever makes it, you know, we need three. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if someone goes into the tank a little bit, we'll try the other one. But hopefully, that doesn't happen. Sure. Um, how important are special teams for, for you guys? Important, big. We, we spend a lot of time uh, meeting, practicing. You know, uh, we devote a, a, a close to a half hour a day, if not more, to special teams. Um, we do a segment every day. We work on punt every day, work on field goal every day, and then another portion 
and we want our special teams to be like I said, just that special. Sure. Um, if, he, if he is doing a great job, you know, with that, he he, uh, it's one one of the areas where you know, he just takes it and and runs it, and you know, all the coaches know they have a role to play and help assist with it, and and uh, it's a really good really good situation. Yeah. Is that something that you brought him in specifically for, or something that he you know took no, over? No. Uh, uh, Dave, Dave was here as the running backs coach uh, from the get-go. He and I actually got hired on the same day in 2015. And uh, he had been on and off uh, as special teams coordinator. But when I was hired here, um, you know, I knew that's, that's part of his background. That's what he wants to do is be a special teams guy. And, uh, and named David uh, assistant head coach, uh, running backs coach, and special teams coordinator. And like I said, Dave, uh, uh, Dave deserves all of that. The work that he puts in, the passion that he puts in, he delivered a speech last night uh, in our special teams meeting that I wish the whole team would have heard, talking about the importance of of your role and and the attitude and all that stuff. And and he's our he's our uh, emotional leader. And, and I, I said I, I wouldn't be able to, we wouldn't be able to do this without the level of effort and uh, attention to detail that he's given. Cool. Um, anything else from these last couple days? No, just uh, we're grinding middle through camp. Let's yeah. <laughs> we keep going. I wish we had two more weeks of it, but we got school Monday, so we have to alter our schedule. Sure.